welcome to episode 5 of Spec Trouble Knight, Spectre of Torment. Last time, we completed another two stages. We completed the Lost City, as well as the Primor Keep, where we fought King Knight and where we fought Mole Knight and King Knight, respectively, and gained the Chronos Coin and the Reflecting Mirror, respectively. And now, let's get going. Next area. Now, because I want to basically have more mat, I want to have more darkness, we're going to go to Tinker Knight, who is a 3,000 bounty himself. But, oh, I thought we, this would was going to happen later. Okay. Yeah, I thought we were going to get another encounter later on. I think it's the next one. Anyways, this is another one of those levels where just judgment, the judgment rush is really going to benefit us. Oh, I'm just so hot. I have so much energy today. I think it's because I got more than five hours of sleep. Where really, I've just been having horrible sleeping issues as of lately. Where I have actually energy. I can think. What? Wrong thing. Wrong power. Anyways. That power will help us out in the end. Anyways, like I said, Kronos Coin slows things down. Okay, jump, jump. And let's go down. And there we go. Okay, we're good. Okay. There we are. Now let's get going. I don't use Judgment Rush on everything because I, well, I need to conserve darkness. And boom. I somehow lost this type. I somehow lost progress. But hey, I got some money, so that's worth it. And I am sad. I thought that was a secret exit. Well, now you know, so that way you don't have to suffer. And boom. What? What? How did that kill him? How did that kill Spectre Knight? I have questions. I have legitimate questions. Spectre Knight was not even below anything. It wasn't like Spectre Knight was like, oh, I'm below the platform. No. It just happened! Vector I just got hit by the large plate and he just got a concussion to hide! You die in Tinker Knight's lair! Tinker Knight just got turned on! He felt the life draining from someone! I think I may have glitched, I don't know! But really, what the heck? Okay, I had an itch on my nose. Wait for a second. Yeah, now as you can see, these guys make a little more sense than when we fought them with King Knight. Okay. And more treasure, more power. More money. Oh, 
Okay, go up here because our final wisp. There we are. I just love using Judgment Rush. It's especially useful once you get that final wisp of darkness and you can basically just use it so many times. And I die! Beautiful. I'm trying to move to the right. I'm like, I'm going to the right. What the heck? Come on. No! I'm not dying again. Yeah, I learned my lesson last time. Yeah, I get smacked. I got punished for being cool. Go, go, go up. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do right there. Yeah, but you can't bounce off these big gears. Apparently the big gears like, go beyond the power of life and death. Nothing can penetrate the big gear. The big gear is the ultimate weapon. Okay, wait for the big gears to pass. Big gears of war, big gears of war. Big gears, big gears of war. Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, we can't jump on the oily wax. Go, go, go. Okay, jump. Jump, 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 jump. Yeah, I find funny how all of the hard stages have the have the auto scroll. Now personally I have to think that this one is a little bit harder than the airship, because with the airship, basically you don't have these moving platforms. Okay, go down. Worth it. And now, let's get a move on. Darn it, that could be cool. Okay, come on. Go, go, go. There we are. Okay. And get some out! Yeah! Go, 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 go! Go, go, go. Go, go, go!
go. And go under here. Spin, 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 spin. And another skull. There we go. Sorry, sorry about that. Okay. What the? F oh, because I can't reach that area. Okay, go up here. Okay, wait. Oh, wait. Why am I doing that when I could simply just... Yeah, there we go. And let's give him a move on. It takes us back there, so we've got everything. And now let's get up here! Okay. Go away to the right, to the left. Okay. Go, go. Okay, anything? Okay, go, 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 go! Okay! Uh, did I miss any skulls? I hope I didn't miss any skulls. Sorry, I wasn't keeping track of how many. First off... That here. Ten out of ten! Yeah! Okay! That's nice! Nice to know! What are you? Some kind of ghost? Get out of my shop! I have work to do! The enchantress would like a word! We have an army to raise, and talented engineers are in short supply. Ha! You may be a tool, but I am not! Time to make short work of you! Have you looked in the mirror? You're already short work! Okay. Now, like with King Knight, Specter Knight will, uh, Tinker Knight is going to basically have two phases. One where you fight him on his gear, and then another in which he summons a giant fighting attack robot.
okay. Come on, baby. And boom. We win, you lose. And he goes down the pit. He fell down the pit and he died. And he all just kicks back and I just tells his back turn. I don't care about you. And now we have the clockwork gear rotating. Anyways, barrier lantern. Create a shield which blocks projectiles to charge up. This is actually pretty handy because it can be used as essentially a free shield for any projectiles. Basically, you can stand under here as much as you want and enemies can't really get close. And the power will stay active as long as you don't use it. And we are good. Okay. Basically, this is one of the less useful males because basically it'll let you charge up a powerful slash. But really, with how mobile you are, you really just want to have just quick successive attacks. Okay, go up here. Barrier Lantern. Now we can basically, now it's more powerful than ever before. Tools of war can force a kind of beast, but I think our rules should be fair and just. None but fools would break things and not rush to fix them. Okay, let's get going. I am ready. Next area. The Iron Whale. Another 2,000... Yeah, as you can see, we have 10 skulls in every area. So, anyways, Iron Whale, Treasure Knight. Just break to the ceiling. Yeah, am I late? Is this the night meeting? Do we get to pick our awesome powers? I want lightning. Who, are, who is this guy? Oh, come on. Wait, did you see my righteous whip? Can I have a helmet? I'm a size <laughs> large. Out now. But. Yeah, yes, get lost. But, but, but! I had my entrance moves planned and everything. It was cool! Did you see that slow mo when I crashed the glass? I was like, boom! The glass shattered, the lightning came, and I was epic! You know, for an order of evil knights, you guys are really mean! I just wanted to be the main event! You haven't seen the last of the past! We should really get some bars for the windows. <laughs> Anyways, as we wanted to do, treasure night. Let's get going. Boom. And I really, I greatly prefer this stage over the treasure night stages in King of Cards. For one thing, just we have our fun little our good water powers. Let's get going. Let's go up here. Let's go! Woo! 
Come on, I wanna go down! I wanna go down, 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 down! <laughs> Just all the explosions, all the explosions! Going down! Yeah, these guys still invincible. Yeah, but really, underwater greatly suits Spectre Knight. More so than any other knight, really. Because Spectre Knight, his main thing is just jumping, is diagonal attacks, which really aren't impeded by the water. He's not like Shovel Knight or, or King Knight, who really can get really handicapped in the water. And while Plague Knight, we'll get to him, but while he doesn't get really handicapped in the water per se, he's still, it's still a little disadvantageous to him. There we go. Go, okay, jumping here. Okay. Yeah, we can't cut off the base of the tentacle, we can only cut off the eyes. Okay, worth it, worth it to get the... Okay. Now let's slash. Okay. Okay, jumping. And now let's get out of here. Yeah, you can bounce off these, those orbs, so that's really good. That's really neat. Okay. Come on, I want to jump up. Jump up, go. Dropping down, dropping down. Oh, anyways, here we have Red's wife. Her skull is randomized, but it could be any of the Red Skulls in the game. So yeah, here we go. Okay. However, even though we have her skull, we will still need to get other skulls. We'll need to get all the skulls. Okay. Going here, as you remember in King of Na in King of Cards, King Treasure Knight actually trapped this fish underground with that chest. Okay. Jumping, jumping. Jump. And there we go. More, more money.
Okay. There we are. And there's our next one, right here. And let's free this little guy. The Sea Wisp. And our next Will Wisp. One left in the game. Yeah, beautiful that you don't have to buy the health upgrades. Jumping there and jumping where we want to jump all day. Fire! Okay. Okay, that was my fault. That was all me. And let's get going up here. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Ha! Ah. Okay, I've decided to wait it out because really, why go on the rails when I can simply just why risk it? Why risk the rail jump when I could get some money and make sure I'm across safely? <coughs> sorry. Okay, another skull. Okay, wait for it to lower. That is what we really want to do. Because we will jump up and down, jump all around. Because we are here. And it is not a glorious time. But we are jumping and smashing the world. And make sure that... Oh yeah, this thing. Well, we have a way to get rid of it. Now, boom. There. Yeah, that's right. We can kill this thing. That's how powerful Spectre Knight is. Waiting, waiting. Jump, jump. Okay, wait for it to drop. No! I don't care! I don't care! Off the iPad just so it doesn't bother me. Okay. There we are. Okay. Let's get move on. And we're nearing the end. And... And all we simply have to do is slash. Okay, where are you, Skull Sentry? Skull Sentry is going to be very useful in this fight. Okay, well, we need to go back. 10 out of 10, yes! We don't need to go back. Oh, 
I just brought my ship to the surface and already I find a beggar on board! I'm not here for a handout, instead I bring a proposition! Unrestricted salvage rights and a place in the Enchantress's financer! Oh, I'll gladly spangle the make gold! Well, how can I get the word that my investment should be secure? Our deals go far beyond words! Feel the glimpse of the power she commands! And we win! Boom! There we go! Charge your knights down! Yeah, this... Yeah, the, the skeleton sentry is great against any large enemies. And now we get another flashback. Hooray! Ugh. Luanorm. Uh, ALT! <coughs> Who goes there? You have sealed your fate. Your friend has fallen, and your own life is forfeit. Hmm, unless... UNLESS! Unless you do as I command, I shall grant you a reprieve from a certain death, and give you great power. Oh god, I don't have a choice then. <coughs> Fine, I'm listening. Oh, you will gather me a grand army. The knights of this land will bow before me. You will bring them here, and I will have a fearsome order. If, if that is your price, then so be it. Yes, and she just tosses a scythe at Spectre Knight, and just, he becomes epic. Boom. I bind you with this enchanted locket. With eight when night knights kneel before me, it will gain the power to restore life. Oh, I will do as you wish. <laughs> yes, go now, my Spectre Knight, and so fear throughout my empire. And that is that. And for defeating the- and for basically getting Treasure Knight, we get the Iron Whale just parked outside. Now... We get the Hover Plume, which is a pretty useful item in of itself. So... We can just get through. Nothing big. Just use the plume to escape. You can use A to cancel out. But yeah, this is a pretty handy item. Not my personal favorite, but it's a pretty good one. Okay. Now, let's head up this ladder. And talk to you. For, for upgrading the hover plume, we basically get invincibility while floating. That is pretty handy. That is pretty nifty. Now, before ending the episode off, let's talk to our good buddy, Treasure Knight. I was told there was a banquet hall. This? This is a travesty. The only thing fit to order here is a complete renovation. Okay. Okay, anyways, I think now would be a good time to end things off. I really appreciate you going to watch this episode. You're a great viewer. If you come back for the next one, you like to be a like, share, comment, share, do whatever you want. I'll see you next time. Bye.